Google dropped a new Gemini model called the Gemini 3 Pro. It's currently just a preview version, but it's actually available in multiple places. It's actually have a new thinking level capability. I think it's kind of replacing the thinking budgets. It have three different levels, low, medium, and high. The current available one is the low and the high. The medium is not supported right now for some reason. The high is the default one. It's the most maxed out reasoning depths that cost a lot of tough money and take long time to reach its first token. The second one, the low one, is the minimize fast low cost one. It's the version for simple instruction following chat or a very fast application processing kind of need that you have. It come also in two different prices. The first one, the below 200k tokens, which is $2 for inputs and $12 for outputs. We're talking about 1 million input, 1 million output. And for the more than 200k, which is the largest one, is $4 for input and $18 for out. And also in the same page for the documentation, you will find they give you advice to keep the temperature of this model, the default value, which is just one, which it seemed like they tuned the reasoning of and the capability of this model to be optimized on this default settings. It's kind of the fairest kind of model to be optimized on just temperature. And they're giving here a warning, changing the temperature below one, it may lead to unexpected behavior. Basically, it might might start losing anything. It's good to know that temperature settings shouldn't be changed because right now this model actually available in multiple places that I found. The first one is the aistudio.google.com. You will open the models over here. You will find it under the feature. The first one, you will find the name Gemini 3 Pro Preview. As you can see here is the pricing and you select it. Automatically you will put the temperature at one, that sinking level at high. And you can see here also low is available, but we don't use low and the default for the media resolution there is multiple different media resolution which honestly i don't need to know about it and you, of course you can give it the code execution the grounding with search for google url context but that's not all actually here i found multiple different code already have been created by a google team showing us the capability of what this model can already do like here we have the physics simulator it's already doing extremely good as you can hear the fast spin it's one of the most impressive one usually this the gemini models didn't do well in this kind of testing and failed miserably i think last year even the gemini 2 it didn't do that well at all at this kind of test testing and they also give you the code over here that you can see uh, by yourself like the mass of it the preset and here there's the index it's using react i think and there is another different kind of apps i found here in this page one of them was very impressive i really said down and played with it it's kind of like mini building city and this you're building here houses shops factories parks and you can see here a lot of people running in the map and it gives you money to build more stuff and the ai advisory like telling you what to collect and here's some sort of feedback what's going on in your city it's a quite impressive and the code for it is not that long actually it's running the gemini ai of course in every one of them one of the most impressive one actually is this one image to voxel art it's using very minimal code over here i see it using the gemini 3 model and the gemini flash image which is here the gemini 2 flash image to turn the image to voxel image as you can see here there is also a prompt an image system prompt very simple this is a code for it also running right and the last one which is you can build here anything that you want which is kind of impressive i by default started to build a chess game it's kind of very good the idea of this app you bring anything to live by giving it like an a napkin with a structure on it and an image telling you what to build basically and before we jump to coding or basically using it at coding let's look to some of the benchmark that's already out there the first one the artificial analysis.ai it's one of the best website that can give you an honest perception of what this model can do and what it can do for example intelligent right now is number one even it can be the gpt 5.1 high which is the best model that we got from openai lately in the speed it's actually slightly faster than the last bro not slightly but actually it's much much faster it's just behind the flash i wonder how the 
flash version of this model will act in terms of speed and reasoning in the price it's actually more costly than the 2.5 maybe because it's better i don't know i hope they're not gonna bump up the number of the ai models pricing the artificial analysis intelligent itself number one for coding it's also number one and for genetics it's kind of number one but tying with the gbt.51 high it started to lose some ground here i can see to the gbt 5.1 high in terminal bench hard and genetic coding uh, losing the ground also in bench telecom the genetic tool use for the kimi t2 i want to do also video about this model it seems like it's a very good one i'm gonna make one also in, i see it not dominating everything but here in the humanity last exam it's doing very good the mmlu pro and the gbqa okay it seems doing very good overall like this is a new top model that we got from google and here is the benchmark provided by google itself as you can see here the gemini model 3 pro compared to the 2.5 to the compared to the 4.5 sonnet and the gbt 5.1 it's kind of beating everything except the sonnet because it's kind of the tie with it with code execution if this is true the gemini 3 bro is beating the sonnet's 4.5 it's kind of over for sonnet honestly like we have right now the 1 million tokens unlimited coding machine and here they also actually explaining more about the gemini deep thinking what it can do and what it cannot do and it can help you learn and learn anything this is like very good because i'm right now studying the book for javascript and battering design which it's an incredibly very heavy it's a very good book i recommend it to anyone that wanted to be better at building application okay enough talking about benchmark and what this capability of this model can do and try test it at coding for real i right now can access it using github copilot right now it's under the 2.5 bro it's the gemini 3 preview over here and i also have access to the old gbt 5.1 it's all also in the preview and the raptor mini this model seemed like very promising but it seemed like cobalt already adapted this model very fast thank god because there's sometimes they're very slow at adapting the new model i'm gonna test it in a few things for example i'm gonna want to replace the server of nexus gs that i have here to the express and make it run without issue and build them one or two pages maybe set up the database and see what it so let's get to start here i did tell it in a simple prompt i want to replace the current server of next gs to express gs and make it run as it's the server not separated one because if you didn't tell it that you wanted a separated one it will create a totally different node.js and mbm file for it i want it to run immediately here i'm gonna hit run and we'll see what let's see what would happen already tell me enable it of course i'm gonna enable it and we have to wait to see okay it's kind of showing me what it think this is really cool okay reading the convello so with the first run i noticed that it did give me how to install it here mbm install express but i noticed that there is no enter the directory of the folder itself and when i told it that it actually went ahead and analyzed what i am saying first and noticed that it's not in the folder that it should be installing express but right now it correct itself so i'm gonna already install it and bam it's installing already all right right now it's done at first it kind of stuck at this error for some time and hallucinated unable to basically solve it but when i created a new chat and told it about the issue it's immediately fixed it like there is no time to think at all basically here it's what it did in terms of thinking this is very cool like it's read and show you exactly what is happening in the background like examining the code read the file trying to think how i can fix this read the package.json examining the route matching fix the issue apply the rgx route done give me the code and right now it's actually running and i can see here this is the abi i checked on the health it's working for the abi but in the main page it's also working which a very good start let's take it to the next step and try to create the folder structure for the server itself and i am following the csr structure the controller services repository structure which i know the express doesn't have a certain structure to follow it kind of do what you want with it but i like to keep stuff in battery right now because i'm studying battery 
suddenly I want to do everything in Matrin. And I told the tailor I want to create a folder structure like this one over here. And actually I asked uh, Gemini 3 Pro to create this one for me and give it to me like this. But I told it instead of the CR3, uh, the CRC name for the folder, I wanted to something else, which is this one. I don't want the server folder to be named CRC. And as you can see here, it have configuration, controller, middleware, routes, services, model, utilities, types, and of course the apps is over here. And it did not only give me the best pattern, but it told me actually there is an alternative one, which is the module one and recommended for me to stick with the layered art which is the first one this year is r1 until i reach the 50 endpoints basically I have more than 50 abi endpoint which is crazy to be honest this is a large project the reason is the first option is much much better for teams to work on luckily i'm only one working on this project right now so it's kind of very details in it term of recommendation and advice this is extremely good but the only thing is bad about it is it's kind of slow. It takes time to warm up and give you all the information at once. So back at Visual Studio Code, I will hit run and see how it will handle this one. Right after it's done, it did much better than he expected from a Gemini model, especially compared to the last one. Right now, I have created the Prisma file or the schema inside the Prisma folder. It created a new folder called server, which is a perfect name for a backend server logic. I have all the folder I said I wanted, the model, the routers, the routes, the services, the types, utilities, but it did more than that, it actually created a server file inside this folder instead of the one that I have in the main directory of Nexus.js and move the routes like the health one inside it which is extremely good and connected this one inside the package JSON instead of the one that we had already but it didn't install Prisma which I needed to run this server basically I think I'm gonna stop the coding test over here because it did something very smart I, I don't know why I didn't notice it when I am building this project I will let you know I, I told it just a second I will let you know first okay I want to now install Prisma and add main file to connect to the database basically make it the main access for connection to the database and it be able to handle errors and it created one here in configuration it's barisma file.ts over here but it did something very smart right now barisma the current version is seven but it's using number five and the reason is it sold me here uninstalled the barisma version five because it's compatible with my Node.js version. It's mean like I need to basically right now to upgrade my current Node.js and NBM. As you can see here, I, there is update available and I didn't do any update for Node.js for a while and updated the schema and here also generated the client using the NBX Prisma Generate and integrated with the server. This is an extremely smart model and i'm very excited to see what the flash version of it will be able to do because i don't know if copilot will be adding the flash version or not because the flash is extremely good sometimes compared to current model that i already had like the grog version or the gbt from gbt4 or the 4.0 flash actually is better than them before i end this video i want to let you know there is a new ide from google itself called the anti-gravity it's basically the other place that you can access this model inside it and they say that they have pricing for free like here individual blend zero per month and you get unlimited tab completion unlimited command request generous rate limits which i have no idea what does this mean but it actually gives you access to the agent models like the Gemini 3, which the Brew version, the Sonnet 4.5, and the GBT OSS, which it seems very good. I didn't test it yet, but I should make a video about it also. But this is the place that you can actually right now try to use it beside the aistudio.google.com if you don't have access to copilot and of course you can use the api of it over here you can read the docs or copy code of itself but you don't need this actually you can use the copilot or try to anti-gravity anti one ide or maybe set up it in raw code 
And as I said in my video, I'm currently started to more to learn more about battery and design, especially in JavaScript, what is battery and design and how to get good, really good at it. I'm not talking about the basic stuff that we all study at the start of programming, I'm talking about how to create battery in yourself, what the process of creating it, the three steps, what make battery a good battery, the, what is the battery or the bro battery, all the stuff I'm studying right now. And I was thinking if I made a small series about summarizing this book for you guys, I don't know, maybe you'll like it, maybe you're not. So please let me know down below if you are interested to kind of make a videos about this kind of stuff, because this will not just encourage me to study more for you, but also will cut short for you sit down and reading this kind of books it's lightly heavy and some of you don't have time the reason why i'm started right now to get really good at better in design the structure and algorithms is i feel that writing code is not the, is the most important skill as a developer that you should learn right now it's actually no solution and battery design and data structure how it work all together what the most efficient way how to approach it in the correct way so you can guide the ai i know that some of you are just vibe coding which is something that i really hate sit down and tell the ai what to do all the time is the right thing yeah but knowing what the ai should give you is the correct way of vibe coding and you can't achieve that if you're not a developer that know what is doing so Enough with the rambling. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the coming video.